हाय ऑल गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज आशुतोष सुधाकर भाकरे एंड आई हैव कस्तूरी घाटगे विथ मी शी इज बेसिकली गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट दी आर बैक एट अ कुबरनेटीज लेवल कुबरनेटीज डैश बोर्ड लेवल राइट सो इफ यू रिमेंबर आर प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट इज अवर कुबरनेटीज डैश बोर्ड पार्ट वन uh it was a very basic video and uh, it was telling us that how we can deploy a dashboard and how you can get the access and assign uh, some cluster role probably a view access or admin access at a cluster level so today we are going to discuss uh, a little extension of uh, the part 1 scenario in which we will try to assign some role based access control at a namespace level right so we have a dashboard already installed with us kasturi had already deployed uh, this dashboard uh, probably this 5290.75.64 is uh, our uh, uh, node ip coming from the aws so it, uh, in this case in the today's scenario we had deployed kubernetes uh, vanilla kubernetes not managed kubernetes on the aws uh, itself right so yeah dashboard is already there so let's see what could be the scenario uh, for this uh, uh, video for this session so uh, scenario is very simple we will have one namespace called unnati uh, and then we'll create a user of course probably it's not a user we all know it is going to be a service account so my user one is going to be a service account then we'll create a role uh, called view so we have a concept of role binding rb so role binding will map a role to a specific user so role binding decides which user has what role assigned in another words role binding is equal to role plus the service account or the username whatever so i'm assuming uh, that we will do a view access on pods deployments and a replica set here right so as my dashboard is uh, already installed it is not going to take more time right so she had already taken a ssh access on the powershell so yeah this is if i do kip ctl get nodes i can see my cluster details yeah so it is a two node cluster uh, one master and one node Uh, and dashboard is already deployed so let's not get into it so yeah so we have one uh, snippet of uh, all the commands which we will be using in this video so you can see that so uh, let's go through this quickly so if you see we'll create a namespace called unnati here uh, then we'll create a service account called user1 the scope of this specific service account has to be at a namespace level why because we are creating role binding now not cluster binding so if you remember our previous video in that video uh, we was very much clear that the name uh, service account should be in a namespace called kubernetes dashboard right but here we are creating it at a namespace level and then we'll create a role the role name itself is a view don't please don't get confused this is just a name right so i will change this to my view i will just change it to my view just for understanding purpose right so there will be no confusion on uh, view and the name right so my view is a role name and i am seeing verb like what sort of action it can do get list watch these are the three basic action i am allowing on which resources pods deployments and replica set so this is till this is okay but we need to tell that yes it has to be at a namespace level that's why we are using hyphen n called uh, unnati that is my namespace and then as discuss we'll create a role binding called rb1 which says or which clarifies that a role view has a access or is getting map now now it is my view of course is getting map to a service account uh, at a namespace called unnati and user1 is my user1 is my service account and then of course this role binding has to be at a namespace level that's why i gave or we are giving hyphen n again that's okay 
then of course you get a token so if you remember our previous video you get a token for that user using this command and you can actually try so we are trying to create a uh, deployment on the cli and will verify whether it is there in dashboard or not so that's it that's the very simple scenario which we will be using there is one more scenario but yeah i will discuss that later let's try to complete the first scenario so as discuss we will create the namespace first right so let's uh, try to do that kip ctl create ns unnati you can check the namespaces here by doing a kip ctl uh, get ns command right so you can see that unnati namespace got created please note this is not created earlier we had created just now that's the reason you can see a age of 6 second right age is 6 second uh, now of course uh, we will create a service account so we'll say kubectl uh, create service account maybe my uh, service account name user1 and the namespace right as the command is too long for creating the role i will simply copy it from my previous uh, txt file so it will basically uh, reduce the length of this video right so but yeah then i will paste it here in the powershell so you can check that kubectl create role my view uh verb get list and watch and resources right so you can see yes the role is created you can verify the role by doing kubectl get role hyphen n uh unnati so yeah here you can see that my view role is there you can even do kubectl get role hyphen o hyphen o yaml get role fine my view Yeah, we need to add a role name here after the yeah my view. So this will clarify the logic that see this is what we did right. Verbs. What are the verbs? Get, list, watch, verbs. Yeah, this and then resources are deployments, replica set. Uh, now you know uh, maybe maybe a little uh, clarification. You see API groups for deployment and replica set is different. an api group for pod is different that's the reason it created two api groups right so go ahead now we don't need to worry about that's okay uh, then we will create a role binding now right so we are just copying the same command what we discuss yeah you can copy and you can basically paste it Yeah, done. So role binding is done, right? So you can even do a get role binding rb one hyphen o yaml. So to verify how uh, it looks like hyphen yeah. So here you can clearly see uh, that there is a role reference called role role reference role my view. Yeah, there. Car, and then subject is service account. there is a service account user one right so that's what we did and now nothing to do you can verify all these things uh, before verifying let's create some deployment here itself let's try to create some pod or deployment yeah so i can see that to get pods hyphen n whatever uh pods yeah it's running now we'll see if this is there in the name uh, my dashboard or not but yeah we need to create a token first uh, for accessing this user create token user 1 and yeah you can copy this token make sure you are not copying any wide spaces 
and then you can basically uh, yeah let's copy and then let's go to dashboard and let's paste it so yeah sometimes from powershell it copies a white spaces also but yeah this time it is not so i can see yeah so here now this is a catch guys this is a catch you cannot see anything here because if you see i am currently in a default namespace so even i don't have a view view access of our namespaces so that's the reason i am not able to see my namespace here. so i have to type a namespace here please understand this catch and then it will yeah you just enter yeah you can see the pod and the deployment is uh, logically uh, there yeah see now let's try to delete one of the pod or one of the deployment whatever so <coughs> yeah so if you delete it see it's saying internal error why because forbidden user cannot delete those resources yeah, cool that's it that's that's what the logic of uh, our first uh, scenario right so that's how it works or rather that's how the logic is all about so i think that's that's okay now the second scenario is how yeah we can go for the second scenario kindly allow me yeah this is my second scenario we will change this scenario quickly uh, saying that uh, namespace we will create a uh, Uh, KUCL, KUCL, yeah. And uh, role is admin and the user, uh, user two, right? So what we are trying to do here is, user two will work or will get admin access on all the resources deployed on the namespace called KUCL, right? So yep, yeah, let's do it quickly now. I I don't think we need to discuss anything, but yeah, only the cluster role command we need to discuss right let's get into it and let's try to understand how it works yeah create an s uh, kucl cool then we will create a service account kubectl create sa uh, in our case earlier it was user 1 now it is user 2 that now we will create a role now role i can copy the command from uh, the previous yeah this is my scenario guys so kubectl create role here admin so i will change the uh, role name also here let's not put it admin i will say my admin right that's it so this is my role and now what you need you just need to do a role binding right so let's do it you need to change the name called my admin there and the namespace because this is a different scenario my admin the namespace is kucl colon yeah and hyphen n is also kucl right so anyway we, we we can change it live also that's not an issue yeah there is one more yeah place where we need to change this that's right so we will verify it uh, let's not verify let's let's go ahead and create a uh, some application let's try to create some deployment uh, our namespace is kucl right yeah now let's uh, go and generate a token for the user 2 by doing a kubectl uh, create token user 2 hyphen n kucl Good. Let's copy this. So, of course, I need to sign out from my previous uh, session also, right? So, let's see. Let's sign out from this first, right? Yeah, and then I can access. So, there is one more way to access this dashboard. Uh, you can access via Cube Config also. Uh, maybe uh, please uh, wait and please subscribe to our channel for your next. for our next video right that will help you to understand how you access the kubernetes uh, dashboard using a cube config file right so lot of things i think four more videos are uh, in pipeline 
uh, one of like probably the next video is coming from our one of the expert trainer uh, called Pawan Vankhede. So let's see. Now we can put a namespace name here, right? So cool. So now let's try if I can scale this uh, deployment or not, right? So if I click here, uh, let's see. Of course, because I am an admin as of now. So in place of one, I'm just saying two. And if I go to pods, I should be able to see. Yes, all for the uh, today's uh, discussion. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this video guys uh, thanks uh, kasturi thanks uh, swanand once again for helping us see you soon till then bye and take care